Good morning, everybody. It's about 6.45 in the morning on this lovely Saturday. Still snugged in bed. Gotta get ready early in the morning. Looks like me and my baby are gonna head to San Francisco to try out this uh, world's first Michelin rated ramen joint. So I'm gonna go and get ready here and um, I'll be back. All right, everybody, it's 7.45 in the morning, heading out to the uh, freeway ASAP on 101 North. About to go uh, do a few things before we uh, finally accomplish our goal. And um, that is the Michelin Star Ramen. All right, so I thought first we should go ahead and hit up um, Four Barrel Coffee. It's one of my favorite coffee shops. And um, that should just be like prior to the ramen. All right, let's go. Plain black drip here at Fourth and Barrel. Um, so bomb so it's one of my favorite coffee shops for the past maybe six years i think this would probably be one of my like go-to's for the mission district there's so many coffee shops out there in different corners um different little alleyways but i think this has got to be like one of my like favorite ones so my top five coffee shops here in san francisco are going to be one site glass one because i mean it's such a beautiful space indoors with like planetariums and then they got their big roast and then they also have fabulous like pastries from like local bakery shops it's just it's amazing more like no other and you might want to get the pistachio raspberry currant croissant one of my favorites number two i'm gonna have to say four barrel um it's out here in the gem in valencia street in the mission um it's still underloved i feel like it deserves more credit than it actually is sipping their black drip more on the light roast third blue bottle but not just any blue bottle you're gonna want to go to uh mint plaza it's the original location right across um by the mall on market street um, four you know phil's is always a good gem 24th street um on mission and then i think for my fifth you're gonna have to hit up um the you're gonna actually have to hit up rituals great coffee all they do is drips uh mocha from the chocolate of like africa but other than that it's those are like my top five and finally suda tokyo's only michelin star restaurant outside of japan and it's here in san francisco california um it's actually founded by chef yuki onishi he's very unique He's one of the first pioneers who came up with using black truffle oil and soba noodles as a secret weapon for uh, his ramen soup. I really enjoyed their uh, fried chicken with mayo. It kind of resembled the same taste like chicken skin. So legit. So it says the only craft ume drink from Japan. Okay, okay. Made with three some ingredients, sparkling water, whole pressed ume, and hint of organic cane sugar. Let's check it out. Mm. It's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a ginger ale. Really good. Yeah. Their signature dish, the Ajarama Chashu Shoya Soba. The Chashu slices are so buttery. The egg is delicious. The charred pork is just crisp. The onion glaze is sweet. And the pork here is really good. It's glazed with butter and it's roasted. 